Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'll be looking at pure mathematics exam question on vectors. Here is the exam question. Relative to a fixed origin O, the point A has position vector 5i plus 3j minus 2k. The point B has position vector 7i plus j plus 2k. The point C has position vector 4i plus 8j minus 3k. Part A, find the magnitude of the vector A to B, giving your answer as a simplified set. Please pause the video, have a go at part A. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. I'm going to start by finding the vector a to b. Because we're dealing with position vectors, the vector a to b is given by o to b minus o to a. So we've got o to b minus o to a. So as column vectors, we've got that o to b will be 7, 1, 2. And o to a will be 5, 3, minus 2. OK, so now we can subtract these two vectors. So if I subtract these two vectors, I get... 2, minus 2, and 4. Now I can take the magnitude of the vector a to b. So the magnitude of the vector a to b is given by square root i component squared, so 2 squared, plus j component squared, minus 2 squared, plus k component squared, 4 squared. So the magnitude of the vector a to b as a simplified third would be 2 square root 6. This completes part A of the exam question. Moving on to part B. Given that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, part B, find the position vector of the point D. Please pause the video, have a go at part B once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Now, for part B, for simplicity, I'm going to draw a diagram in 2D. So we've got a parallelogram A, B, C, D. When we draw our parallelogram, it is very important that we follow this order, A, B, C, and D, when we label these points A, B, C, and D on our parallelogram. So here is my parallelogram. So for example, if I call this point A, I can label this as B, followed by C, followed by D. Or I can do B, followed by C, followed by D. So what I'll do is I'll put B here, Hence, I must put C there, and I must put D there. Now, we've got two pairs of parallel sides. Here is the first pair. Here is the second pair. Now, for a parallelogram, we know that opposite sides are equal in length. So we have that, for example, the magnitude of A to B is equal to the magnitude of D to C. Uh, given that this is true, we must also have that the vector A to B has to equal the vector D to C. Notice that the directions are the same. I can't take A to B equal C to D because then the directions will be different and I'll get a wrong answer. So I must be consistent with my directions. Okay, now that I've got A to B is equal D to C, I can rewrite both vectors. So the first one I can rewrite it as OB, or you could say O2B minus O2A equal, this vector you can rewrite it as O2C minus O2D. Okay, so now we can make O to D the subject. We've got O to B minus O to A minus O to C is equal minus O to D. We can divide both sides of this vector equation by negative 1. This gives us that O to D is equal minus O to B plus O to A plus O to C. Okay, so now we can work out the vector O to D. Uh, in part B, it says find the position vector of the point D. So that is the vector O to D. So we've got minus the vector O to B, which is 7, 1, 2, plus the vector O to A, which is 5, 3, minus 2, plus the vector O to C, which is 4, 8, minus 3. Okay, we can multiply the i, j, and k component by the negative 1. And then we can add on these two vectors. To give us the vector O to D. So the vector O to D, once I've added all three vectors, is equal to 2, 10, minus 7. And that there is the answer to part B of the exam question. Moving on to part C. The point E is positioned such that, first bullet point, ACE is a straight line, 
Second bullet point, AC to the ratio CE is equal 2 to 1. Part C, find the coordinates of the point E. Please pause the video, have a go at part C. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part C. Again, for simplicity, I'm going to draw a diagram in two dimension. So here is the solution to part C. So I've got a coordinate grid. Um, I've got a straight line. Okay, so this is A and this is E. Now point C will be somewhere here. We've got the ratio AC to CE is 2 to 1. So that part there will be 2 thirds of A to E and that part there will be 1 third of A to E. So we've got the vector O to A, we've got the vector O to C and we've got the vector O to E. Now in the question we want to find the coordinates of the point E. So that there is technically implying that we must work out the vector O to E. Now to find the vector O to E, so vector O to E, we can take the following pathway, O to A plus A to E. Now the issue is we don't know the vector E, so we can't work out A to E. How do we proceed forward now? Well, ladies and gents, we know that the vector a to C, for example, okay, the vector A to C has to be two-thirds of the vector A to E. We have parallel vectors. So if this is true, we can rearrange and work out the vector A to E. So the vector A to E is therefore given by 3 over 2 A to C. So now we can put this into here as a substitution of the vector A to E. So we've got O to E is equal O to A plus 3 over 2 A to C. So I've got O to E is equal the vector O to A, uh, which is 5, 3, minus 2, plus 3 over 2, lots of... Now A to C is given by O to C minus O to A. So O to C uh, is going to be 4, 8, minus 3, uh, take away O to A, which is 5, 3, minus 2. Okay, so I can subtract these two vectors. Once I've got a single vector, I can multiply the i, j, and k component by 3 over 2. Once I've got that vector, then I can add it on to 5, 3, and minus 2. So if I do this, I get the vector O to E is equal to 3.5, 10.5, and minus 3.5. Hence the coordinate for E, so if we write it as a coordinate, will be 3.5, 10.5 and minus 3.5. So that there ladies and gents completes part C of the question and this teaching video pure mathematics exam question on vectors. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.